What? Say what? Why yes. That is an invective in my house. The Meacham & Soar signature amplifier from PV. The Invective is a free channel 120 watt amplifier but even though I'm saying free because you can see three different sections here at the front with the different boosts and whatnot it feels like a 6 channel amplifier. Power tube section contains of 4 JJ606 power tubes it has MIDI, MSDI direct output I do not know what MSDI means but it sounds cool. Half power switch, it has two 9 volt auxiliary power jacks to power external pedals, two effects loop. This amplifier comes with this foot switch that basically controls everything, everything you would want on this amplifier. I think the only thing it's missing is the bring coffee button. Oh, there it is! Let's try it out. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much, Mr. Invective. Oh, it's good too. <sighs> and yeah, this amplifier has a wide array of really awesome features. But I know what you're all wondering. Does it... 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 Fuck it. Does it... Judge. For this demo, I'm using a Solar A1.6 Artist straight into the Invective, going into an Invective 2x12 cabinet with a V30 and a H75 Creamback speaker. I'm recording this using an SM58 microphone and a Bayer Dynamic M160 microphone. All right, let's go. <laughs> Drop my pick. <laughs> like a dork. Okay, so that was a little bit of the lead channel, but let's start with the cleans. Beautiful. That's the that's the tone right there. Then you have the drive. Awesome clean. Okay, channel two. So 
So, as you might hear, the amplifier is really quiet. It's because it has its own noise gate built in. So, that's super smart. And you can switch it on and off with the foot switch. Works really good. Adjust the gain a little. So, here it is without the boost. Nice and thick. And with the boost. Tone and volume, okay? Okay, let's go to channel 3, lead. Really nice and tight. That gate closes really well. So here it is without the gate. There's a lot of gating happening here. This is with the gate. There's a lot of gain happening, so if you're going for a lead type of sound or playing solo, Channel 3 has definitely enough gain for that. Let's dial down the gain a little bit. I want to chug a little bit more. I'm trying to kind of describe the distortion right now. It's like, it's very wet sounding, but still very tight and dry. But how can it be both dry and wet? I have no idea. But it sounds really good, I must say. Okay. I need to play at least one periphery riff. Sorry guys, for butchering your song. <laughs> Starts out good. Okay. Last chance, Ola. I have no idea how to play this riff. It's just from here now, okay? Sorry.
I don't even know my own songs anymore. What a shame. Okay, should I try and use the direct output as well? Okay, give me five seconds, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm trying out the MSDI output. I have no idea how it sounds. It's just recording into Logic right now. <laughs> There you have that, okay. Also, another thing I haven't mentioned is that this amplifier has a master boost as well. At the back here, you have an extra knob or a level that basically sets a boost on the master output. So, so say if you're playing a lead and need a master boost, you can just click here. And you can decide on the back here how much of a boost you want. Okay, really cool. All right, so yeah. This is a killer sounding amplifier. I mean, it has a lot of very smart features that make this a great all round amplifier for a lot of different applications. It's like it's made for the modern player who maybe has a lot of outboard effects or pedals with, uh, you know, with the features like the nine volt output and the uh, two effects loop. It's becoming a very versatile amplifier. And uh, yeah, they definitely thought things through with this amplifier. It's, it's nice to see that. For more information about the PV Invective, go to pv.com. I'm Ole England, and if you like this video, please j and push that j button to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, go j yourself.